over 20 products that are my all-time favorite. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what my all-time favorite makeup products are going to be. And so yeah, let's just get started. There are some few things that I like to do ahead of time. I like to go ahead and oil up my face. I apply the Tarte Marjuka oil. I, th I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the Tarte Marjuka oil. I love this thing. It just makes my face feel so nourished, so ready for makeup, and it just makes everything apply on so much better. So much better, you know? Following that, I actually use this bad boy. This is going to be the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I really like this primer because it's really lightweight. It's coconut water based and it's silicone free. So it's not going to feel thick. It's not going to um, feel weird. It's replenishing and hydrating at the very same time. And another thing I really like about this one is that it's a pump. So it comes in a pump capsule like this it's easy it's even I do one one and then rub that stuff in until it's dry you know so that's what I do before I put all my makeup on of course I let my face kind of soak in all of that moisturizer make sure that my skin is good to go all right the next step is of course my foundation and concealers let's start with foundations i have four foundations that i am currently kind of into at the moment so we'll start with a drugstore product recently is the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation this is full coverage it's cheaper it's a drugstore it's affordable and it's a very smooth application like when I put it on, my, f my face feels really smooth. It looks really smooth, which I really love. So yeah, and this one is in color soft beige. I'm a soft beige. We're going to go into a little bit more expensive, a little high-end. Uh, I don't want to say it. I don't know if they're high-end, but I got them at Sephora and Ulta. Is going to be one of my all-time favorites are going to be the Fenty Beauty the Pro Filter Foundations, okay? So if you guys haven't checked out my other video, I did go ahead and do a... Fenty Beauty review. Make sure you check that out if you haven't already. But I actually use these two. I'm in shade 240 and 260. I think both works just for me. And if you guys haven't noticed, I'm all about full coverage. All right, and then last but not least, one of the my all-time favorite products is actually the foundation I'm wearing right now. is going to be the amazing Huda Beauty foundation. Um, at first, I didn't like this because I thought it was a little off color for me and I didn't really like the smell because it smells like flowers to me but overall I think it's a pretty good coverage I like it and uh, yeah you can pick this up at Sephora this one is in particular is in Bach Lava 340G color I think it's a little bit too yellow for me but I mean it seemed to play it off pretty well so yeah an honorable mention is going to be my Tarte foundations. I love all Tarte foundations. The only thing I've been lacking is getting some more. Speaking of Tarte, my favorite concealer is going to be this Bath Sinking Boy, okay? It's the Tarte Shape Tape. You guys have heard a lot of great things. A lot of people love this. Um, I got the color Light Medium. It's what I'm currently wearing right now to highlight and to conceal and for my under eyes. This is what I use. I like it because the applicator is humongous. And I like it because it's a blendable product. It's a, it's not too creamy, it's not too liquidy, but it's a good mixture where you can blend it and build and still have very full coverage. And so I absolutely, absolutely love this, okay? I also use Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. I have the colors Mocha and Bamboo. Uh, these are particularly used just for my nose and sometimes for my contour. They are magnetic. Again, I also did this in my Fenty review. If you guys haven't checked it out, link is down below. And speaking of contour, I also use three palettes or bronzers that I really like. My all-time favorite is going to be this. I'm sure you guys know what this is. This is the Benefit Hula. I love this so much because I can do so many looks with this and so many variation of contour. So if I want just a bronzy look, I can get this from this. If I want a harsh cut crease, 
I can get it from this, you know? And as you guys can tell, like, I am running out. Pretty used up, as you guys can see. You guys can see the tin. But time for me to go get a new one. Holy grail. There's some contour palettes that I used to like and I kind of still do when I don't have my hula is these two bad boys. So it's going to be the Anastasia Contour Kit. As you guys can see, like, this has been beat up like crazy, okay? So as you guys can tell, I've been using it pretty well. This pan is completely empty. And a good honorable mention is going to be the Count Von D Shade and Light. This is the first edition. You guys can tell I am using this. It is out. You can see the actual pan. And of course, so after all your contour, you're going to have some blush. I have some holy grails that I use. But one of my favorite blush palettes is going to be this one. This is the LA Girl Island Hottie Palette Blush Palette. I picked this up at Ulta. I think it's less than $20. So it comes with four different shades, as you guys can tell. It has your pink shade, a little bronzy color, and two orange tones. Darker. These two both have... Um, shimmer on it along with the island hottie palette i also have three other cheeks that i use if i want to do a you know rosier look i would use the wet and wild color icon blush in color melon wine or 328b and then i also do use the ColourPop super shock cheek matte bretman rock collaboration and then i also use the tarte amazonian uh clay party so this one's a little softer, a little more pink, more opaque kind of blush. That's what I would use is this one. The way I do things is kind of where weird. I go ahead and set the rest of my face. And what I use is two products. So I use two face powders. I use the Morphe uh, Filter Effect Finishing Powder in number filter number five. My recent finds courtesy of boxycharm if you're not so subscribed to boxycharm you're missing out i have a link down below that you can join okay but in my latest boxycharm for august i actually received my very first becca product which is the becca hydro mist setting powder the formulation of this product is just amazing like if you've never tried this product, go to Sephora, go to Becca, go to somewhere that offers this product and try it on. Because it's so tricky, but it's so cool, it's so rewarding, and it's actually a really good product. It feels like freaking water on your face, but hey. And it's retail for $39, I know that for sure, because of courtesy of Boxstar. Alrighty, so after I set my face, I go ahead and do my eyebrows, and I have two products that I really love. It's going to be the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I use the shade Dark Browns. I use the NYX Professional Micro Brow Pencil in color Espresso and Black. One of my favorite palettes is going to be this palette, which is the Naked Heat. Uh, it's kind of weird. I think it's weird that this is my favorite palette out of all of the Naked palettes because it's all heat colors, like red tones, mauve tones, versus all the other Naked palettes. As you guys can tell, like, from the cover itself, it's been used. Like, it's kind of gross, but that's how you know this is my holy grail for my eyeshadows. After the eyeshadows, my favorite product eyeliner is going to be the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. So I believe that there is two different types of applicators for this one. Mine is not the felt one, mine is the feather tipped one. I absolutely love it, it's waterproof. It's super simple, super easy to apply on, and it's super affordable, I really like it. And of course, after your eyeliners, you always gotta apply some mascara. So I actually have three mascaras that I absolutely love. I have the Marc Jacob mascara that I, I have the Dior that I use, it's called Dior Show better than sex mascara right now i'm currently using the better than sex mascara waterproof which is this one but i personally like the regular one which is the pink packaging one thing that i do have to mention is that i love the better than sex packaging if you guys don't know what it looks like it looks like this and literally it has like water driplets all over it of course you can't finish the look off without any highlighting i have a couple of favorite highlights this is going to be the fenty highlights this one is going to be in shade kilowatt and shades hustler baby in me money so this one is the cover fx custom enhancer drops if you want the ultimate highlight this bad boy does amazing 
amazing things and this one in shade moonlight let me just show you guys how crazy this is if you don't know what what i'm talking about like look at that glisten going along with one of my last favorite highlights are gonna be this bath girl this is the light up from benefit cosmetics this is probably the first makeup product that i really 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 liked and i incorporated to every makeup in high school i had the mini travel size and i used to put that thing boom all right here because i didn't know what it was i probably looked so crazy i didn't even realize that until after high school and i'm like oh shoot i'm so stupid like this is a highlight not under eye so my bad but i love it because it's so easy it's such an easy application it's a cream base and you literally just rub it on and look at that glisten okay and it's super blendable which i really love and of course my favorite and one of my last steps that i love to do is my lips and of course, to finish off the look, you can't forget to do your lips. The lips are gonna be like the most important. It can make or break your look, okay? I use the Anastasia Matte Lipstick in Staunch. I'm wearing the Morphe Nibble Ultra Matte. And I absolutely love the Tartus Lip Paint from Tarte. And this one is in shade Sis. And along with that, some liners that I really love are going to be these three. So I have the Boxum Undercover, the Morphe Lip Liner in Zippy, and my new favorite, also courtesy of BoxyCharm subscription, is going to be the same. Pause. I mean Steve Laurent. Laurent in the color Vogue. Always have to set your makeup. So I use two products, one or the other. My latest favorite is going to be the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is an aerosol can and it sprays really easy. I don't know if you guys can see that. But my all time favorite is the Urban Decay All Nighter. A lot of people like this one. This one's the All Nighter Makeup setting spray it's long lasting it's oil free paraben free temperature control technology well it's not really a makeup product but it's an essential is going to be this the garnier skin active micellar cleansing water all-in-one waterproof makeup remover this is a holy grail because i mean you got to take off your makeup sometime right so i really hope that all of these products you guys will love i will link everything down in the description box below where you can get it how much it's for and if you like this video go ahead and make sure you like it press that like button and of course make sure you subscribe and click that bell for all the notifications for my newest videos i hope to see you guys next time bro brow michael